All right. Welcome back, everyone. This is Ebony, aka Fit Mom Diva of Simplicity Health Style. And today we have Miss Myra with us. How are you, Myra? Hi, I'm doing great. And yourself? I'm awesome. Thank you so much for connecting with us today. You guys, she has some wonderful gems that she wants to share with us today and has an awesome social media presence. I would love for you to be able to collaborate with her. If you stick around to the end, you'll also have an opportunity to join my Facebook group and have the opportunity to get a complimentary gift. So stick around to the end, see what Myra wants to share with us today. Myra, tell us, one motivational quote that really encourages you and motivates you to start us off. Um, there's one I like in particular. Uh, don't worry about the failures. Um, now I can't quote it verbatim, but it's don't worry about the failures. Don't worry about the chances you miss when you don't even try. It's by Jack Canfield, I believe. And then there's another one I really like um, that says, don't worry about the reasons why it won't work. Focus on the one reason it will work. And I don't really know who quoted that, but that's one of my favorite ones too. And that's so beautiful. And it's so, it's so true because a lot of times we hold ourselves back with all of these reasons of why it's not going to work, why it's a stupid idea, why it didn't work in the past, why it didn't work for this person. When if we focus that, that, that much attention on how it could work and how it could happen, we would get so much further in some of our decisions. So I, I love that. It puts it in a, in a positive light rather than focusing on all the different things that could happen that probably would never even happen, right? <laughs> right, of course, yes. We all know that it's not always easy when it comes to making certain decisions in our lives and some decisions are easier to make than others. So can you talk a little bit about a time when you didn't necessarily see the light at the end of the tunnel and you had to overcome some obstacles but at the end of the day, you were able to bring that goal or that dream to fruition. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I could sit here and tell you a few. Um, but the one that's really like highlighted in my life right now, um, my dream was to go to law school since I was 12. And um, I went to college. I graduated college. Um, and I took the LSAT back then. And this was about six years ago. And... It didn't go well. I wasn't prepared mentally or physically because a lot of people don't realize that's also exams like these are also a physical test. You know, you have to make sure you get enough rest, make sure you're eating well because the stress anxiety, and anxiety levels go way up. Um, so I wasn't prepared. And so I kind of like, you know, I was discouraged and then I was like, you know, this maybe it's, it's not for me. And, and so I left it alone. But then, um, Aside from having a fashion blog and, you know, having a dream in fashion, I also, my dream is also to be an attorney. So I've been working in the legal field for about seven years now. And um, so I just thought, you know, I was like, well, what am I doing? Like, my dream is to become an attorney, you know. <laughs> um, so I decided to give it another shot. Um, you know, about two years ago, I, I really pondered on it. And I said, it's either now or uh, never. So I uh, started doing, you know, preparing again for the LSAT and it, it, I wasn't seeing results, you know, I, I took it a few times and I just wasn't seeing results. And I, I didn't want to give up because I'm very tenacious and I don't like giving up. Um, so I, I, you know, I took it again and, and finally, uh, my score increased and I was able to get into a law school. Yay. I will be going to law school in the fall. So I'm Yay. really excited and, and, and blessed, you know, and, and really thankful that I, to myself also, that I stuck with it and that I decided to uh, not give up and, and there was a light at the end of the tunnel. That is awesome. And too many times when we're stuck in the middle of a process, we say, oh, this is just too much. This is not for me. And then we give up. But if we kept going just a little bit further, we would have reached that goal. So that's awesome. And congratulations. Yay. Thank you. Thanks. What type of attorney are you thinking about becoming? Immigration, of course. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I love it. Love it. Love it. Well, I wish you so much success in that. And 
think there are going to be times when you're in law school and you might even doubt yourself like why did I decide to do this <laughs> yeah. but I know that I know that you're whatever you decide to do you're gonna make sure that you put your heart into it that tenacious spirit that I sense in you and that you said that you have is going to get you through it and I think that we need people like you in our in our circle that we can see that we have a vision or a goal in mind and we say it's going to happen i don't know how it's going to happen but it's going to happen <laughs> we need more people like you in our circle of influence yeah i think sometimes it's a mentality shift because yeah. we, you know that gets in, in the way because we might be negative about it um, right. or you know our, our thoughts even not necessarily so much our actions but it's our thoughts uh, right. because we have to just be positive about it and say, I don't know the way, but there's going to be a way and it's going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, that's very important. Um, we need to shift our mentality uh, more than anything sometimes because that's, that's very important. Yes. And for you having a strong social media presence, it's particularly important for you to also understand that people are connecting with you because they like what they see and they're also looking for a sense of positive encouragement so for you to say oh you should be positive and you should keep your eyes set on the prize and then as soon as you have to go through some struggle you say oh this is too much i give up you know you kind of have to have to talk and walk <laughs> the same <laughs> so i um I tend to find that when you do have a social media presence and you're trying to impact people in a positive way, we really have to become self-aware and really understand what it is that it takes to be successful in this world. Because oftentimes it's not going to be a straight line. We all know that. But when we're in the middle of chaos, we're saying, why is it so difficult? <laughs> it's because it's not meant to be a straight line. You don't learn lessons and you don't grow from everything being simple and easy, right? <laughs> right, right. Um, I was just, I saw someone post on Facebook the other day that she, she didn't mention what she was about to do, but she just said that she decided to take a leap of faith and um, try something new and she would be posting about it soon. Um, so, you know, and she just said she was getting out of her comfort zone. And so I commented on her post and I said, um, it's in the, you know, when we get out of our comfort zones that we learn and we mature and, and, and you know, and we grow and that we discover things that we didn't, in, within ourselves that we didn't know that we were capable of. Yeah. Um, so a lot of us, you know, I, myself included, I've done it before where I just, it's nice to stay in our comfort zone because we know, um, that we can do it, you know, we excel at in our comfort zone, but we don't grow, we don't see what we're, that we're more capable of doing what we are, that we're doing. So, you know, I was happy for her, whatever it is that she's doing, I can't wait to hear about it. Um, but I was happy that she decided to, you know, take that leap of faith. And, and again, you know, a lot of us are really good at our comfort zones, but, you know, we, we don't, we miss out on a lot when we're just there, you know, there's more to whatever we're, it's just like whatever we're doing, you know, we get good at one thing and then there's always something else that we can get better at, you know, as we're going through things. Yes. And I think that sometimes the more support that we have through those situations, the less difficult it may feel, but some of us don't necessarily have a strong support system to help us to bring our goal or our dream to fruition. So can you talk about those situations and people that fall into that category? Maybe they've had a vision in mind since they were eight years old, or they have an idea that they started working on and they kind of put it to the side and they don't feel like they really have a lot of social support or they have support, they have people that want the best for them, but they don't know how to provide that support in a practical way. What are some tools or techniques that these people could use in order to gain support that they need to bring that goal to fruition? Yeah, so I, I guess I understand that in both, you know, um, with my fashion blog and then also with, with law school. Um, my family is my number one and biggest fan and supporter. 
Um, I have a very big family, so both my parents and my five siblings, they all support me in everything I do. Um, but, you know, they're there emotionally because they don't really know the struggles. You know, taking the LSAT, it was just, I was very stressed. I, you know, I had a lot of anxiety. Um, so I was learning how to deal with that, you know, and, and it, it was, it was difficult, you know, they're just there supporting. Um, but then you have others who've actually gone through it, you know, and I would speak to others, um, you know, who are on the same boat with me, you know, whether they were taking the LSAT or whether they're attorneys, because I do work with attorneys. So I, I would ask for their experience. And once I realized I was not the only one that goes through that kind of stuff, then it, you know, I'm like, okay, well, everyone, you know, kind of goes through this stuff too. It's not just me because sometimes right. I think we focus on like what we're going through and we're like, oh, well, I'm going through this. Maybe it's not meant for me. Um, or, you know, everybody else is going through this, but when you connect with other people and you realize that it's not just you going through that same boat and that if they did it, you can also yeah. do it. And if they overcame those issues that you also can overcome those issues. Um, so I think talking to your peers, your mentors, and, and people who are going through the same struggles as you are is very important. Um, again, your family and friends and your close you know, circle of friends is, is great. You mm -hmm. need the emotional support, but you also need the support of someone who's already gone through that so they can right. – Every one situation is different, um, so they can advise and, and let you know about their experience. You know, it's not necessarily going to be the same, but so you can know that, that you're not alone in this, that there's always someone out there um, supporting you. And so, yeah, I don't know if that necessarily answered your question. <laughs> no, being able to identify people in this world that can support you. And one way of doing this is by connecting people in your local community via local meetup groups or connecting on social media if you're one of these online people and that's how you connect with others there's always somebody that has gone through something similar and I know for local meetup groups in my area there are topics that range from A to Z so you connect with people that are having that specific issue or that specific challenge and you bounce ideas off of each other and you connect with people online. You have multiple groups online on different social media platforms for various topics from A to Z as well. And these yeah. are not necessarily people that you, that you know because they're in countries and, and states all around the world, but because they're going through a similar issue, they're able to connect with you in a certain way. And that's what yeah. is key so that you're not having that feeling of aloneness and oh woe is me why is god doing this to me <laughs> you know i think that too often we look at what's happening in people's lives on the superficial level so we look at what trips they're going on and the parties that they're having and all the joyful experiences and we don't often see what goes on behind the scenes and we think that oh well my life sucks <laughs> Nobody could understand what I'm going through, but in all actuality, we all have the same desires in this world. We all desire to be loved. We all desire to be secure. We all desire a certain level of freedom. We all des desire to be appreciated. It's, it's all the same things. So I think that we are more understanding of each other than, than we would like to believe sometimes. And getting outside of your comfort zone and establishing those relationships, whether it be online or in your local community is key so that you don't feel like you have to battle this world alone. There's billions of people on this, <laughs> on this earth. So you, you have to be able to find at least a handful of people that can really identify with your challenges and want to help you go through them. Right. And I actually, with my blogging, um, so I have a fashion blog and I started that about a couple of years ago. Uh, I've been really bad here lately because I've been busy doing law school stuff. So I haven't really blogged much this year. But um, when I first started, you know, that was one thing that I had that dream. Like I wanted to have a fashion blog. I love fashion. So I can sit here and talk about fashion all day long. <laughs> and you know, I love clothes and shoes. So I'm just, I just wanted to share uh, my styling tips. And so 
I had no idea where to even start. You know, I had no uh, technology and I are not best friends. So I was like, how am I gonna, you know, and I'm broke. I was living in LA at that time. So I was like, well, I'm a poor LA girl here and I don't know how to deal with technology. But, you know, I started off by um, Googling and then, you know, I, I and Instagram, I kind of, uh, got closer to uh, a group of you know other influencers or fashion bloggers and we started bouncing ideas off of each other and it was great because you know again you always have family support uh but emotionally but they don't really know how to help you when you're blogging you know if i mean <laughs> so um it, it was great that i could ask other people you know well how did you build your web or, or like you know what website did you go to build your website? I didn't even know how to build a website to begin with. Um, right. And so there's people willing to help and say, well, just go here. And this is where, you know, you set up your domain because I didn't even know what a domain was. Or I didn't even know how to set that up. So, right. and, you know, I just kind of did one step, you know, after another. And um, so I got, you know, connected with people all over the world, you know, on Instagram or off my, um, my fashion blog, you know, and, and it's great. Um, I still don't know what I'm doing sometimes because I, I feel like I've learned as I went, like everything I've set up on my website is just pretty much myself. Um, right. I've, you know, I've spoken to a few friends um, here and there that know what they're actually doing it and they just, you know, they give me the ideas or they tell me where to go. But other than that, you know, I've, I've set it up myself. So there's days where I'm like, Oh, what am I doing? Right. Um, and, and so I'm still not there. Like where my, I would love my website to be. Uh, but I'm trying to juggle, you know, law school, my passion, my family, and, and, and just life. So, but it's, um, it's you know, it's it's a good start, I think. And um, so, yeah, I think it's, it's it's great. You know, you find people on social media that you connect with, they're, you, that you feel like you're best friends with sometimes. You know, you're like, yeah. oh, I feel like I've known this girl all my life. And it's like, I've never even seen the girls. Like, you know, I've only <laughs> talked to them. Uh, you know on social media but it's it's great to connect with other people like that and then hopefully you know one day we're able to meet in, in person and and you know but I always recommend that you know like don't be afraid to like ask other people uh, mm -hmm. just ask you know if you see that someone is doing well um, and, and you've connected with them just say hey you know um, do you mind sharing like what's work, like how your experience, you don't necessarily have to ask them what they did. Just ask them about their experience. And some people are willing to share it and be open. And then in sometimes not even with them telling you what to do or, or how they did it, but just speaking and the conversation goes one way or another, like, mm -hmm. and they may not give you the idea, but you just got an idea on your head and you're like, wow, I'm going to grab that and run with it. So right. um, it, it's, I think it's, uh, I encourage people to like reach out to others. Um, certainly people can reach out to me and again, it's, it's not the best, but <laughs> I'm working <laughs> with it and I could, I would love to share whatever it is that wherever I'm at at this point and, and what I do know as of right now. Awesome. And I want for people to collaborate with you because we need more encouragement for people like you that are helpful and have that helpful spirit. It can be so overwhelming sometimes when you're starting out with your social media presence because there's so many details. But once you master those details, then you can get on to really putting your light out into this world and connecting on a more human level without trying to figure out all the technology behind it. <laughs> so I want for people to be able to connect with you and collaborate with you on any upcoming projects that you have. I um, often find that right now might not necessarily be the time that, that you guys can collaborate with each other, but you know, I will sometimes connect with people that have told me, you know, I've been following you for a while and I never knew it because they never necessarily commented on my content, <laughs> but they're like, you know, I've been following you for a while and I see that you help with this and I really need help in this area. And you just never know what kind of relationships you can build by being consistent and putting your light out there in the world. And I'm definitely going to stay in tune with your journey because I want to see what comes of this whole law school thing. And I know that you'll do awesome. 
Thank anyone you. that wants to connect with you, I'm including all of your contact information in the description box, but can you just real quickly tell us what your Instagram handle is? Yeah, my Instagram page profile is Myra, and it's spelled differently. It's M-A-I-R-A underscore divine. So D-I-V-I-N-E. My mother's middle name. So I kind of, I liked it. So I use it. <laughs> Pretty. So that's Myra, M-A-I-R-A underscore divine. And you guys, like I said, I'll have all of her contact info in the description box. If any of you listening would love to share a challenge or a success story with women around the world, please contact me. And all of my contact info is in the description box as well. And for those of you that want a community of positive, purpose-driven women to connect with, you can also join my Nutrition for Busy Women Facebook group. It's Nutrition, the number four, Busy Women. And you'll also have an opportunity to get a complimentary gift to help you begin to identify how you can best develop in your career and in your life purpose while also living a whole and healthy lifestyle. I know Myra has a busy schedule today. She did not sit here and deliver gems to you because she's just twiddling her thumbs. So I would appreciate it if you could also share this content out with your friends and family that can benefit because I know that there are people out there in the midst of chaos, not understanding what is going on and if they can ever achieve their dreams. And I want for them to listen to messages like this so that they can be encouraged. Myra, do you have any last words of encouragement that you would like to share with us? Um, I just say, follow your dreams, you know, um, let your dreams be bigger than your fears. Um, in most cases, a lot of people, myself included, you know, I, we don't, accomplish those dreams because we're so afraid of the what ifs um you know so afraid of failure um or what people may say or do um you know both situations my passion blog and in, in, in law school um those fears were kind of there um but then i set them to the side because i mean my dreams had to be bigger than my fears otherwise you know it was not going to work so yeah. um i think it's okay to be scared and because it's, it's a new process you know it's something but you should also be excited and um looking forward to what would happen or what's going to happen after you accomplish that dream or that goal like one small goal and, and it's also important to you know Sometimes we tend to have big goals, you know, big goals are good, but we need to have little goals too that are working towards that big goal because um, it's important to um, be able to accomplish little goals to take us to the bigger goals. And we need to be thankful for the little goals that we accomplish, uh, you know, every day, even if it's something small, like um, you responded to five emails in one day right. uh, versus, you know, you set up your whole website. So, it's just, you know, but as long as you're working towards it, your, your dream or your goal, I, I feel like that's what matters. Um, right. So, yeah, I think that's just my final words. Uh, just don't let your fear be bigger than your dreams. Um, so, and, you know, there's always people going through the same thing you have. So reach out to those people or, you know, and just trust God with it. God will take care of it. Um, and just be positive that it would all work out. Yes. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate this. And as I said, for those of you that have similar challenges or other challenges that you want to share with the world so that they can resonate with your story and know that it's possible, connect with me. And I'd love to have you on to one of our future episodes. Until next time, you guys, wherever you are in the world, don't forget to live a life full of meaning and purpose so that you can feel more fulfilled in this world. Talk to you guys soon. Have an awesome rest of the day.